Give us a give us a very condensed version of how you would step a client through an understanding of this yeah. model, or at least just the initial phases of it. Well, you know, whatever's yeah, yeah, comfortable yeah. for you. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Um, well, typically they they would come in and they're, they're suffering a whole lot of symptoms and uh, a variety of things, and typically they're they're feeling lost, they're, they're feeling withdrawn, they're feeling isolated. And you've got to understand in the traumatic world, that's certainly the highest symptomology of uh, PTSD, mm. avoidant, avoidance. Mm. Um, and no one understands. And this is my internal world, especially if there's um, secrecy or aspects of what they've experienced um, that they can't really share with anyone. So basically what I would firstly say is, look, um, I've got a diagram. Um, I'm going to explain how... Um, over the, the amount of time I've seen people, this is what they've described. And I firstly then look at, okay, how emotionally, normal emotional processing operates. I, I typically talk about uh, a benign type example. So, you know, mm-hmm. you, go to, you go to a picnic, for example, um, and what would happen is you take a snapshot or an image into your mind. And with that image, you would actually sit back and go, okay, um, according to my understanding of the world, um, look, it's a beautiful day. It gets labelled positive or negative um, in a certain part of the brain. I typically don't go into the brain structures because that just freaks people out. Yeah. Um, but I say that, look, it gets labelled according to your experiences that you've already had about picnics and typically they're positive and then you might say, is it a wonderful day? or something like that. Then everyone smiles and says, yes, it is. Let's move over here and you get reinforced and that becomes an updating system on a belief structure of positive experience in an emotional way. Um, Because I believe image is very powerful, picture in the mind, and that's how we uh, process that type of information. So that's, that's first what I do. And then secondly, I say, okay, what happens with trauma? Yeah, so yeah, body does the same thing. Yeah. 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 And what happens with trauma is there's, there's elements that, firstly, it's a life threat. Mm-hmm. Um, your life or someone else's um, survival. I'm, I have been, there's been a question of my survival, someone else's. And probably the third, the third element is that it has to fit in a disbelief world. I can't get my head around it. I'm in shock. I can't believe it. All the things that um, you've prepared for in various ways, it's beyond you. Well, if you want to know more about the science of psychotherapy, come across to our website, thescienceofpsychotherapy.com and our podcast of the same name and learn more about the science of you.